Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to fix Logitech G Hub stuck on loading screen. So if you're interested, let's start tutorial. Now, if you're having issues with your Logitech G Hub here, there are a few things you can do here to probably solve this issue. So one of them is to make sure that you run Logitech G Hub in Administrator. Now, if you do want, you don't want to do this every time you open up Logitech. What you need to do here is you need to look for the actual .exe file or the executable file itself. So before we actually do that, we need to first close Logitech here. So in this case, you want to go ahead and go to your task manager. So just press control shift escape at the same time on your keyboard and task manager should open up. Now, if you don't see or if you're not seeing the same UI that I'm currently seeing right now, you can go ahead and click on more details here and you should be able to see the expanded version. Now, you want to look for Logitech here. So scroll down a bit until you see Logitech, uh, Logitech Hub here. So in this case, it should look like G Hub here. You want to right click on it, click on end task. And once you've ended that task, you want to go ahead and go to LG Hub here. And from here, you want to click on end task as well and end task as well on the agent one. Once you've done that, what we need to do next is we want to go ahead and exit task manager here. And from here, we want to go ahead and basically uh, select it as administrator. Now, go to the bottom left of your screen. You want to go to the search option. Just type in Logitech. You should be able to see Logitech G Hub here. Right click on it. Just click on the option that says open file location. Now, in here, what you need to do is you need to right click on it again. Click on open file location again. Now you should be able to see the .exe file. So right click on it again, and you wanna to go to properties instead. Now you wanna to go to compatibility, and you wanna go ahead and make sure that you select the run this program as administrator, click on apply and okay, and go ahead and open up Logitech again. Now, if this doesn't work, then it means that you need to do a fresh reinstallation of Logitech uh, G Hub. So in this case, you want to go ahead and uninstall Logitech here. So in this case, you want to close your uh, browser, your uh, Windows Explorer. You want to go to the bottom left here, go to search again, and you want to go ahead and type in the following, which is going to be uninstall. You should be able to see add or remove programs. Go ahead and select cut. And from here, what we need to do is we need to look for Logitech. So go to search this list, just type in Logitech, select this one, and you want to click on uninstall. Now let's go and click on uninstall. It should pop up the uh it, it, it pop up here where it say or it actually ask you do you want to allow this app to make changes? Just click on yes, and another pop up should actually open up on your screen, uh, asking a few questions here for Logitech. So it's going to say uninstall. Uninstall will remove G Hub from your system. Are you sure you want to proceed? His operation cannot be undone. Now, in this case, what you need to do here is you want to make sure that you unselect the save my current settings because we want to remove all the files that is related here for Logitech. So you don't want to uh, remain or keep a bunch of settings here. So make sure to unselect this one and just click on uninstall. Now, once you've uninstalled Logitech here, you could go ahead and reinstall it again and see if that solves the issue. So the main problem itself is the settings that is currently on your PC. So by clicking on or unclicking or unselecting the save my current settings, this will actually remove any files or settings that is set on your Logitech uh, app and reinstalling it will solve the problem itself. But in this case, that's about it. So. Hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.